Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Devin from Deadly Art Gamings. For those coming for the first time, welcome. For those coming back, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be going over uh, how to make um, or edit your own loot filters. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about those, um, how they work, how to set them up, and all that stuff. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a build guide for it. Uh, or not a build guide, but a guide to how to use them, how to share them, all that fun stuff. So, um, but we get into it, if you do like the content, please smash that like button. Uh, if you do uh, want to keep up to date with my guides, my build guides, my live streams, all that fun stuff, smash that subscribe button. Um, and also I do have a Discord and I will have a upload of my build guide and we're gonna go over that here in a little bit, but I'll have, uh, an upload of my build guide or build not build loot filter sorry um in my discord where you can go there and you can download it and use it yourself and fine tune it to your liking um and I, like i said i'm gonna go over it how it works and, and i've designed it to where it's very easy to interchange with per class so every character you have you can use it on and just it only takes a few minor tweaks to get it adjusted to the each class. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So essentially, uh, what you'll want to do is press Escape, go to Settings. Um, here is basically where you'll go to to um, all your loop filters that you've already made. You'll be able to change them. So whenever you make a new class, you can pick one that you've already made. Um, or what have you, whatever uh, you want to do there. Um, so for the first off, if you don't have any, so you'll you'll want to come here, manage. Now, um, what you'll want to do is, I'm going to show you what it looks like at the very start. So once you'll log in, this is what you'll see. You'll see a little bit of a description, not much to see there. Um, and then you'll see import filter and create filter. So essentially, if you're creating your own filter, just from scratch, you'll click this, you'll um, click create new filter and start. Um, it's kind of pointless to have these two buttons because they go to the exact same thing. Um, uh, so for right now, you can click either one. It'll do the same thing. Uh, essentially you'll come to this, you'll choose to create your own, uh, or, um, now I'm going to tell you this two ways, just because I've seen some people share it this way and it just makes it a little bit harder. Um, if someone sends you a loot filter or you use somebody else's that they have on a site or whatever it if if it is a text file from a notepad go into the text file highlight everything in it and then click paste um, after which it'll bring you to the loot filter and then you can shoot name it icons all that stuff uh, if they share it via xml which is way it's designed in the game all you have to do is click open filter, uh, open filter folder, and it'll bring you to where all the um, filters are saved per the game. Just put it in there, and then it'll it'll show in your drop down menu. So, um, but like I said, I already have some already set. Uh, here, let's see this. So once you're creating one, you'll be able to come in here, do your title, do a description if you want, um, pick whatever icon you want, and then whatever color you want, and then press confirm, um, after which you'll be brought to this. Um, first off, before I'm going to go ahead and just leave this here, and I'm going to bring you to mine, the one that I've designed. Uh, let's see here. Not that one. I forgot to add something on my other one. Um, so essentially, the way the way it works is it's an order of importance. 
So, uh, I'll leave that there. Uh, the way this works is basically I have all my gear pieces here. You'll have, you need to put this no matter what you do. This basically is there for hiding all the pieces that you don't want to see. So essentially all it is is coming in and just put hide, update, that's it. Uh, put it at the bottom because you want it to hide everything else other than the stuff that you are wanting to see. Um, now this is also, it's up to you. I like to still pick up Apex shards. Um, so essentially I have it set underneath that to where it will show all affix shards so i know it's just affixes but since this is hiding all the items these aren't specific to items so it's not going to show affixes on gear and idols and stuff this is only going to show the uh, affixes on the ground so like when you kill stuff and an affix drops on the ground uh, or you get one of those affix uh, shrines that you click and it drops um, uh, affixes, you'll still be able to pick them up no matter what they are. Um, so for my um, loot filter, essentially, this one's set up for my necro. Um, so say you're wanting to use my uh, loot filter, uh, all you'll have to do is come in here and say you're a sentinel. You'll just come in here and um, leave everything alone here. You'll just come over here because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be using a relic. Well, you'll probably be using a relic or whatever you want to choose. So you can just choose this, come in here and change the relic to whatever you're looking for um, if you're wanting those rare ones uh, that's hard to get you can also check those as well just so you can possibly get those but those are unique so they'd be shown anyways with my setup um, so say you're um, a fire like a paladin sentinel and you do fire damage and all that stuff so uh, you would change it to whatever I don't even remember what I had it at uh, you would come in here and choose the one specific to the build that you're doing so if you have a build guide or like one of my build guides and you know the, the base that you want you just come find the base there confirm update and that's it um, same thing for rings you just come in here change the ring to whichever one is supposed to be pretty quick pretty painless pretty easy um, now up here this is for showing all unique set and tier six and above items that drop uh, also if say you have in a build that you're working on it has a unique item in a slot just uncheck that slot to where you don't have to worry about seeing uh, items for that slot other than of course the unique which will automatically show anyways um, these up here the green and then you can choose whatever color you want all you gotta do is click it and it'll automatically let you choose your color and then press update um, essentially what this is this one is for is for it to show all rare affixes so all rare affix that shows on any piece of gear doesn't matter what it is if it's acolyte sentinel whatever it's going to show it to you so you can pick it up so if you're paying sentinel and say you might have an intention to make an acolyte one day um you while you're paying your sentinel you could still have a chance of picking up some of those rare affixes that take forever to get uh, that way when you do make your uh, acolyte or whatever other class you at least have some in a stock or whatever. So when you start crafting your gear, you at least have some and you're not having to start farming them there. Um, now the purple is, uh, so this one you can leave there or you can remove, it's totally up to you or you can just roll this one, uh, run this and remove this. 
this one is essentially the same as this, but it's for my build that I'm working on. So this will show purple, show, show the same rare affixes as in here, but it'll show them purple instead. That way I know it gets my eye a little bit quicker to know that that's for my build I'm working on. Um, so just give you, depending on how you are, what how you focus on things. So if you don't want to use this one, you can uncheck it and just have this one. Uh, Cause like for instance, this helm is has mana gained on smite, which is not something that I have in here. So it's going to show as green. Um, if it happened to be in my list, it will change it to purple. Now, if you put this one underneath here, it'll vice versa that. Um, so you want to have this above that. And like I said, this has to be at the bottom so it'll hide everything other than the stuff that you have showing. And then the affixes uh, will show no matter what shards. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and go to the new loop, loop filter. You can see everything showing here. It doesn't matter what it is or what it's on it. It's going to show. I'm going to go over how to kind of edit or create your own in a sense. Um, at bare minimum, you'll at first, I always do that. And then I'm not going to do it because it's going to take forever to kind of click through all the stuff. But you would want to go in here, show, do affixes. Um, I wish there was just a click all. And then once you put that one in, you would put it underneath here. So that will show the affixes if you want to see them. Um, so now we're going to go over the rules, how they kind of function together and all that fun stuff. So here you would show, hide, and then recolor if you're wanting to make a recolor rule. Emphasize essentially makes it to where it capitalizes the um, name of the item. Now I want to say I want to show you one thing real quick. Let me go back to my necro. Um, there is a glitch in the game where whenever something drops and it, it's emphasized and colored that the next item that drops will be uh, not always but most of the, most of the time I've always seen where like the next item that drops is capitalized as well um, so let's see here um, so yeah that that's one of the glitches right now that I've I've been noticing for a while now and it hasn't been fixed yet. But just disregard, like if you see this show and then, um, and then the, uh, say a blue item drops and it's capitalized, just, I mean, you can look at it just to make sure, but it's generally just a crap, well, just regular blue item with it doesn't have anything rare on it, so don't worry about it. Uh, nope, not, no, new low filter. Um, so like I said, whenever you make the new filter, you can put a, choose your name, name it to whatever you want, so you can kind of help this differentiate stuff. Uh, if you say you want to edit at any time, you can come up here to this, and then there is apparently a duplicate uh, button as well. So I can sit here and make a duplicate copy of this and then go in there and edit. Um, so you don't have to sit here because the way I was doing it before I saw that was I had whatever loop filter I had already designed and I would just uh, export it, copy a clipboard and then go to my other character or in my in here I would just press plus and then paste and it would bring it and do the same thing. So duplicate would do the same thing for you. Uh, but essentially you'll come in here. Uh, we'll go with the first one, which would be affixes. This is um, from here to here is affixes on gear and items. Um, 
from here down is going to be for um, idols. All right, and so basically you'll choose which I which one which um, affix you're wanting to choose. So you can choose a couple here, a couple there, a couple there, or just click the box and check them all. And that'll do everything melee based, everything of damage type, all that fun stuff. Um, after you choose them, now this is going to be dependent on gear only and um, stuff, not for um, shards. So if you're picking all the shards, you don't have to do this this part here. Uh, this would be for items like, say, if you're looking for vitality on a chest piece or vitality period, um, or say if for those rare affixes or any of those, or if you're just looking, you're running out of a specific affix, you can put a, a, a rule in here to where, say, I need some more vitality, I'm out of them. It's not a rare one, so it's not going to show on there. I can come in here and put vitality, and I mean, I don't want to be burning my shatter um, runes on ripping those off on a bunch of tier ones so i can say i can come in here um, and put equal or more to tier three so anything tier three vitality i'll see so i can go ahead and go pick it up and then rip it off and then i can start building my stack because i don't want to be burning those shatters on uh tier ones because they're scarce enough as it is uh so you can put in there any to where all of them will show equal to a set tier, less than a tier, uh, less than or equal. Uh, that's kind of, these two are kind of pointless. You might as well just have these two um, and so on. I'll go over the additional stuff at the end. Um, so then we'll go into class equipment. This would be just if you're wanting, say, for Sentinel, um, only the stuff that is going to be gear that's going to be for this class. So, like, for instance, my chest and helm are Sentinel-specific. Um, it will only show Sentinel-related items, and then you can add specific rules after that. And then... Um, or if, say, you really hate a specific class and you're never going to play it, you can come in here and hide those specific items, just in case. Um, level specific, so below a certain level, above uh, a level, and then max level, below a character level. Now, this does, you have to set a level even though it says max level below a character, which that title in my mind means whatever level I am or lower. Um, so you actually have to come in here and put a level. So now I haven't tested it out to see if they have an algorithm in there to where say if I put my level that I am right now, if I level, will it automatically change that value up a level every time I level? or if I'm gonna to have to manually go in there and update that every time I level, which would be kind of pointless or annoying. Uh, now this one, I did try this a minute ago. This kind of does what, it, as far as the way it reads, essentially the same thing as this, highest usable level. Um, now I'm guessing this doesn't mean, um, the highest level usable to me. This, I, from what I'm gathering, unless it's a bug, this just means it's only going to show the highest level item of that class type. So, for instance, let's, here we can kind of test that out right now. We'll add that in. Let's see if, I, okay, yeah, that's the way it works. Now, give me my gloves back. Um, 
Hello, give me my look. Gloves. Well, that's not nice. Okay, there. I guess I just put it over there. I couldn't see it. Um, let me get back over there. So, why is it not hiding that stuff? <laughs> That's weird. There. Huh, that's weird. It usually updates automatically. There, now it's hiding and stuff like it's supposed to. So essentially, with this, um, it'll only show the highest tier of each item. So any, anything below the highest tier that you see will be hidden. Um, I don't like that because as far as builds... Sometimes we mix match stuff. Uh, so like if you need, for instance, um, this belt, it's not the highest tier belt. Uh, these rings are not the highest tier rings, so on and so forth. So that um, wouldn't really work. Uh, it would be better to just um, put a rule set like I have on mine where you have the specific item you're looking for no matter what tier it is you ch you choose which one you're looking for um, but if you want to it is there um, there we go um, and then after that we will go to rarity which basically just entails to where you can show whichever certain rarities or hide certain rarities. Uh, so like I have generally have a rule set to make sure I see set exalt and which is the tier six and above and uniques automat always. Um, if say you've already got all the set pieces that can drop and you don't really care to see anymore, uh, you can uncheck that. Uh, if, say, you're at a point where you've got enough uniques of pretty much everything uh, and you're not really worried about seeing them, you can uncheck those and just see exalts. Uh, you can kind of pick and choose that. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to leave this on here because I want to come back to that. And then, so even with that also, um, if, say, you don't want to see white items, some people like to see white items like I do like to see white items because I do build guides and builds, so I'm constantly having to craft stuff as I level new characters to test builds. Um, white items are good to start off the crafting uh, quick and easy, and then as you're leveling and as you're playing and farming and stuff, getting those pieces that has stats on it to get even higher crafts. So they're a good, good way to get started on a build uh, and then grow from there. Uh, but say you're in game and you're already max level and you're starting to min max your build and all that fun stuff, that's when you, at that point in time, whites won't really work because trying to max craft all the stats on a white, uh, I don't have that kind of luck. So yeah. Um, Especially since you can only go to five, uh, you'd want to try to get some purple items and then being able to add on to those. Hopefully you can get ones with two stats, which I've been getting a lot more lately. Um, so you can pick and choose that, what you see, what you don't see, all that fun stuff. And then last but not least, item type. Now item type, you can come in here and choose um, like if you want to see all just one-handed items, you can choose all one-handed items. If you want to see all idols, you can choose all idols. Uh, or you can pick and choose what you want to see. 
Now mind you, if say you pick all the melee weapons and you confirm that, it's going to show all levels of that item unless you come in here and say put a level restriction to only ones above a level or um, stuff of that nature you can um, that would be the only way to really do that but I generally know which weapon I'm looking for for the most part so I just pick the one item uh, so sword and then you can pick the actual item here and it actually shows you the base which was really nice that they have that in there so you can kind of see what each piece if you'd like if you're like me and you're kind of trying to min max or build something yourself you can kind of see what the values are on each tier uh, so you can pick the, uh, that sword there and now every it will only show that specific sword nothing else uh, and then you can come in here and say I've already got a crafted one pretty decent but now I'm starting to min max now I can come in here and add the oh I'm, heads up I'm going into adding conditions <laughs> um, so essentially this allows you to add more fine-tuned um, searches or showings or hidings whichever way you want to see that um, so now I can come in here and say I only want I want to see stuff with um, melee bonuses on it or damage types. So doing that, essentially, it will show a dice sword if it has uh, any of these affixes on them. Or say I want to only see them if it has tier three and above um, stuff like that um, you can put rarity if you want but you, it's better to just go ahead and put affix if you want to be specific because I meant you can still put it on there it's where it'll hide whites as well or you can just make a separate rule to hide all whites it's totally up to you as far as how you do your fine tuning this is where it comes into how you want it to be um, but yeah you can add as many as you want you can only do one set of affix one set of this one set of that you can only do one of each per um, rule um, so if say you want a um, dice sword with this and then you also want to look for a caster version one without those so if say you're working you're split on a build and you're working on maybe a full melee version or a full uh because like i said this is going to show it's going to have to have uh those affixes on them so if it doesn't have those affixes on them it's not going to show um uh, let me see some oops uh, need a little footer so say let's add a loop filter and we're gonna do shield I'll do my shield or hold up is it well no it's not it's already should be hidden item we'll go to offhand shield confirm and then we'll do great shortages because that's what I'm wearing so I can come in here and put in block chance and health gain on hit so you can come up here and search block and it'll kind of show you the idols and all this stuff anything that has block related in it and then say health gained on block so why is it not show or health gained on block and then block chance so with that it's going to show this helm 
or that chest. Now let's add another affix in there, just a random one. Now let's see if it's gonna, sh okay, so it's still gonna show. Let me make sure. Okay, so it's gonna show whether any of those affixes show on the, the item. So you can just make one rule set for this and then say you're kind of mixed your build is kind of like a like what i'm working on is a paladin fire uh, whirlwind or not whirlwind uh, warpath melee character so i'm going to be testing both strictly melee weapons and the like divine scepter which will be melee slash um, elemental or adaptive spell um, but my build is more not really with spells so I don't really cast any damaging spells it's all about just explosions and stuff like that so I might not go into divine scepter uh, but then again I also want to see which weapon type will give you the most damage via sword axe mace what have you so I can make one of these um, for say one-handed then make one for two-handed and so on and so forth you can kind of mix and match but put all the affixes that you're looking for on there and that way say because um, that's where I would go into say my build say I've already got my gear at tier 3 tier 4 now I'm starting to min-max trying to get everything to tier 5 and above uh, then I can come in here and fine tune this so I've already got say my relic tier 3 tier 4 now I can come in here and pick affixes and say these are the well let's do it the right way uh, one affix here one affix here these are the ones that say those are the four that's on mine which I know they're not um, those are the four on my relic that I want to get um, so if any of those show on there on a piece that drops it's gonna show show that to me now I can even f find to it further and say I only want to see it if any of those affixes on said piece is say tier three and above this way I'm not picking up tier ones, tier twos. I can just go ahead and just kind of fine tune in tier three because I already have say all, say all my on here are tier three. So this will get me in and say I fractured it. Now I, I don't want to see anything below that. So I'll just say any of these have to be tier three. If one is on the piece of gear, say it's a blue item with one block on there, but it's a tier three, it'll show it to me so on and so forth for any of the other stats that I choose. Um, so, and then you can fine tune it even further to where only certain level pieces, only certain rarities. So if you don't want, you can go ahead and hide white items. Um, so I mean, this is only gonna show things with these affixes in it. So it should automatically hide the white items. So you don't have to worry about hiding those. Um, so on and so forth as far as fine-tuning that to your specific um, but that's pretty much it uh, like I said whenever you're making your own build make sure you make a rule set for hide and then make a rule set with uh, fix affixes and choose all the affixes and put it below here that way it'll show all affix shards that drop on the ground so you can pick those up for your uh, stockpile below um, and just remember if you are doing um, recolorings if say you have multiple recolorings for say the same thing like I have on my necro make sure you have the one that's more important above so like for instance like these are just all rares this is only the rares for the 
build that I'm working on. So I, I'm focused. I know I see if I see some pink or whatever color you want to call that, um, I'm going to go grab it. If it's green, I'm still going to go grab it. But if I miss it, eh, I'm not too worried about it. So like, for instance, this mana on smite use is a rare um, affix. But I'm not too worried about it. I most of mine that's on use anyways uh so i don't really do that anymore since they changed that so i'm not really worried about picking that up it's not a really big loss to me i mean granted i have quite a few in my inventory already so i don't really need to worry about that so i mean if i really really wanted to i can go in there and remove that so say you have a stockpile of a thousand vitalities, which would mean you're not going to need any more vitality in quite a long time. So you can come in here and remove it. And that way that'll be one less shard that you'll see. Uh, but that's totally up to you. I mean, it, when they come, they generally come in piles all over the place, and it's easy to just click one and pick them all up. So, I mean, that's, to me, it's not really that bothersome to keep it. Um, all right, and one other thing that I did forget to mention earlier about my build or my um, loot filter. Um, if, like, you're using it for different characters, now this would be half... Be something that you would want to look up the build um, whatever guide you're using or whatever uh, you would have to go to a site uh, there's a few sites out there that would be able to show you um, like which ones are rare uh, extremely rare stuff like that um, that way say because this one's set up for a necro but it, say you're a sentinel doing fire build or whatever you're not going to want to see these purple um, acolyte stuff. So you can come in here and uncheck these, um, get rid of these, and then you would come to Sentinel, and then you would just come in here, or if you already know the names, you can just search them and switch it to those. Um, so like these, if you're Void Knight, you would probably be looking for this one. Uh, let's see here. This one, those two are rare ones. You would want to switch those over to those for the other, if you're making uh, your next character is a VK or uh, say it's fire, you would want to come or a, uh, uh, what is it? Um, not a sentinel, um, paladin. Um, you would want to come in here and start looking for, say, that. Um, this one, these two are semi-rare to get uh, or pretty rare to get. So that's the only other thing other than changing these. This one is a little bit more complicated. So like I said, if you don't feel comfortable like going in here and unchecking these and rechecking these, uh, to whatever the rare ones to your build and which for the most part it's going to be the like if you have the build guide up for whatever build it's generally the bottom two on your chest and your helm are generally the rare ones i mean there's still a few a couple that are semi-rare or rare on the other pieces but it's generally the helm and the chest second uh two stats are generally the rare stats. Um, so if you want to on the purples, if you know your, if you have a build guide and they, you see the chest and helm, what's, um, what they're recommending to be on there, you can come in here, uncheck everything, and then just add in physical damage and bleed, and fire damage and ignite. If there's mixed match and there's other ones on the bottom here, you can go ahead and add them there as well. But that's that's uh, for that but like i said if you don't feel comfortable doing that you can feel free to do that uh, if you're in my discord and you don't feel comfortable but you would like that send me a message i'll be more than happy to um, refocus it around your 
new character that you're going to be working on or whatever the case may be or make you a, a loot filter for you um but other than that that's pretty much it um like I said, if you do like the content and you find this informative, informative uh, please smash that subscribe button or that uh, like button. Um, if you want to keep up with the, build, the my build guides, my guides, my live streams, all that fun stuff, um, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And like I said, I'll have my build, uh, my loot filter. Um, all my builds are also posted in there as well in my Discord. Um, just Feel free to join us there, chit chat with us, uh, and you can get that from there. Um, but other than that, that is it. Uh, if y'all ever need anything, have any questions, feel free to ask, and, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about this, or join me in my Discord, either or. Uh, my name is Devin from Deadly Art Gaming, and you all have a great one.